Hello and welcome to our December uh, update here from the mayor's office. Just want to provide a few updates for you today. We've been busy here at City Hall. Uh, yesterday we had our final city commission meeting of the year. So we'll have a couple weeks off before we come back together in the new year. Uh, so as you likely know, this is a busy time. Uh, let me fill you in on a few things uh, going on on our end. Uh, First one is that I've heard from many of you uh, and we share that concern here at the city for individuals experiencing homelessness. So I wanna let you know that the city has been working hard in partnership with a lot of, uh, quite a few actually nonprofit organizations in our community as well as the county to come up with some plans, especially for the winter. Uh, so because of COVID, we need to make sure that we have ample space for social distancing. Uh, we know that there's been a growing number of individuals sleeping outside and we're really concerned about that as the weather uh, gets colder and the nights start to drop down uh, in temperature. And so just this week, we move forward in partnership with Guiding Light and uh, Mel Trotter to open up additional space uh, at the old Purple East building. So that will happen this week and we'll be encouraging folks to uh, go into shelter to make sure that they are warm and they have a roof over their head, uh, especially on cold nights. So other things we're doing um, that we talked about yesterday is that we added additional funds to, uh, to extend and expand our eviction prevention program. Uh, that's at 61st District Court. It's been in place for about two years. We're very concerned about potential evictions as people continue to struggle uh, maintaining their job because of the shutdowns. Uh, and then we also embarked on a partnership with community rebuilders to uh, help us identify housing and do rapid rehousing for individuals experiencing homelessness. And they have been out, uh, they have a strong outreach team that's been doing that work. Uh, and then we have added additional staff onto our homeless outreach team. Uh, and then we've also added a full-time homeless outreach coordinator here at the city. So we'll continue to be uh, active in the space and do all that we can to support individuals experiencing homelessness while we also work with our partners, uh, not just at the county, uh, but also in the nonprofit sector. Uh, one other thing, I know a lot of people have uh, shared ideas about what we can do to help individuals who are experiencing homelessness. And one of those ideas was to buy a hotel. As of um, this moment in time, there aren't uh, hotels uh, that are up for sale, but the county did work out an agreement with a hotel and we will be having a hotel that's available for uh, isolation rooms. So again, we're looking at what we can do to make sure that people have a place to go, uh, especially if they need to be isolated or quarantined. A uh, couple other things here at the city. Um, <clears throat> we've spent a lot of time talking about the real concerning trend with the increase in violence in our city. Uh, yesterday at our public safety committee meeting, our police chief uh, provided an update and you can find that update online as well as our office of public oversight. So they provided an update on their work as well. Uh, and, <clears throat> and then this week we issued an RFP. So that's a request for proposals. Uh, to identify a lead agency who can implement a uh, evidence-based violence prevention program. So as of right now, the city has allocated $225,000 over three years for that effort. Uh, and then once we identify a lead agency, we hope to uh, garner additional philanthropic support to get that program off the ground. My hope is that that will be finalized in January and we'll be able to move forward on it in the first quarter of next year. And then two other, uh, couple other things to be mindful about. Uh, we are seeing a reduction in COVID cases in our community across the state, and that's very good news, uh, but that doesn't mean we should let our guard down. So as we go into the holiday season, please continue to practice all of those important safety precautions that we know help mitigate the spread of COVID. Uh, there's a lot of hope and Good news on the horizon with the vaccine uh, that was approved and is now being distributed. Many of us paused to uh, really soak in this historic day this past week as we saw trucks pulling out of Pfizer to deliver those vaccines. Um, that's very good news, but we know that uh, all of the distribution isn't going to happen right away and it's gonna take months. And so during this period of time, we still have to practice vigilance and we have to continue to follow those medical precautions. We need to do our part um, to make sure everyone is safe, but also to make sure that our businesses can open back up. 
uh, it's really important for their livelihood, those business owners that have been closed for so long. Uh, we want to make sure that we're doing our part and make sure that they can open as well. And then last, there's a lot going on with the holiday season. Uh, just last week, the marketplace at Studio Park opened up. If you haven't gone down there, I encourage you to do it. It's a space that has uh, different gifts that you can buy from 150 different artisans from our community. Uh, it's right there at Studio Park, and it's just a nice little uh, venue. Uh, if you're still looking for holiday gifts, go down there and buy some. Um, but also it'll be around all year long. Uh, and then our ice rink, our ice skating rink opens on Friday. It's going to be a little different this year. So if you want to come downtown and ice skate, uh, make sure you make a reservation. We'll be limiting the number of folks who can be on the, on the ice at the same time. Um, but we will be having ice skating downtown and, uh, and then next year we'll have a number of winter installations, art installations downtown. So I hope you get outside, bundle up, embrace winter. Um, I had my big winter coat on this morning as I had coffee uh, with an individual and had a meeting outside. Uh, this is, a, you know, the beauty of living in a four season city. We should embrace all four of those seasons. Um, and then last, I hope you have a really happy uh, holiday and a Merry Christmas. Uh, even despite this challenging year, there's a lot to be thankful for. And I hope that you are able to spend time with those that you love and really just pause to reflect on this year, but also think about the great things that we have in the year ahead. Uh, we have hard work to do uh, next year and, and the years beyond uh, as we come out of this pandemic, um, but I have a lot of hope that we will get through this together. So with that, I hope you have a great rest of the day.